Alright, welcome everyone to Marvel Man's Game Room, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Batman Forever Nightmare Bat Builder figures from McFarlane Toys. Batman, whoop, Batman, <laughs> and Robin. Also, I've got the McDonald's cups here of Batman and Robin. So let's check out these bad boys. First, let's look at the box because I neglected to do that with Riddler and Two-Face. So we got the Batman Forever logo here. Batman from Batman Forever. Nice there. His name there again. And then it's just a picture of the Nightmare Bat with everybody in the line. And it shows you what piece is for what character, what comes with what character. As you see, Batman comes with the head of the Nightmare Bat. So first, because that's the head and it's Batman, we're going to look at Batman last. But first, let's look at the cup. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> like a Robin's cup. Beautiful. All right, let's take a look at Robin. Love it. I wish he was a little darker. And, uh, you know, just a little darker because the, uh, the Robin from the movie has a darker color. So the red is almost purplish color so it's like so deep of a red it's almost purple but beautiful anyway let's pop this bad boy open now. <laughs> to get him open all right so robin comes with the other wing to the man bat or the I'm saying man bat. I guess it's kind of man bat, but it's nightmare bat. Let's put that off to the side. We'll get his card and his stand. So we have a black DC stand with one peg for Dick Grayson. And we have his card. Nice. Let's do that for you. Oh, I'm focusing issues. Anyway. So with the bat piece, let's attach it to the other part of the bat. The nightmare bat. Pig's kind of off to the side. And the wings are kind of sharp, so. There we go. Man, look at that wingspan. Ooh, that's a big boy. Very nice. All right, moving on. So, let's look at Robin's card. If it'll focus. Oh, focus, focus. Focus. not focusing doesn't like it yeah okay whatever that doesn't matter I'll read it you'll know what it says real name Dick Grayson and Batman faces off against two foes the psych schizophrenic horribly scarred former district attorney Harvey Dent aka Two-Faced and the Riddler a disgruntled ex Wayne Enterprises inventor Seeking revenge against his former employer by unleashing his brain-sucking weapon on Gotham City's residents. As the Cape Crusader also deals with the tortured memories of his parents' murder. He has a new romance with psychologist Chase Meridian. Like, they don't mention Robin at all. Like, yeah, he has a new romance. Where's Robin? Like, Robin was a good portion of that movie. Anyway. Little gripes, little gripes. It's also literally the exact same thing they said for the two villains, which means all of them are gonna say the same thing. So Robin actually has a lot of different hands here. I don't wanna, I wanna get them out. I don't wanna pop them all out. He has four different hands. Yeah. 
And of course, I'm having issues getting the last two because they're both fist looking. They look like they're fist hands. Nope, they're grabbing hands. Okay. Right, that's fine. Grabbing hands is good. So we got two. Wow, it is really having focusing issues. I am sorry. Let's try to focus out a little bit here. Mm. There we go. There's a nice focus. All right. Both hands are kind of the same. Obviously, one's right and one's left, but they're both you know, grab hands. This is an open hand. Kind of cool. I like that one. And this is a random pointing hand. I guess for like if you want to do scenes where he's, you know, poking Batman in the chest going, yeah. Anyway, that's Robin's hands. So let's take a look at Robin. say I do like the fact that they're starting to do claw capes for pretty much everybody. Although Robin's has a spine in it so it can move. Yeah, it's got a little wire in it so it can flex and stuff. Very nice. I like it. I love the color and it's a thick, it's a thick uh, material. I think it's like double, double sewn. So we got the uh, yellow in the inside, black on the outside, very pretty, I like it. He has movement at the torso and the uh, Robin nipples, the introduction of the nipples was in this movie. He has double jointed elbows, he has, he's got more movement at the shoulder than he does at the bicep, but he should have a bicep swivel. Yeah, there it is. My swivel. This one's a little flexible, a little too flexible. Does have movement at the head. It could probably go all the way around. I'm not gonna test it. He does have the McFarland diaper. Boom! That ass though. And like I said, I kind of wish that the green was a little darker, and this was a little closer to the color of the movie, which is more of a purplish color. But that's because it's a dark metallic red. It's almost like a wine color red. Yeah, it's like red wine, I would say. A metallic, deep red wine, almost. But I love the R symbol. It looks fantastic. The, you know, <clears throat> body armor looks really good. The legs look really good. we got movement at the legs. Not much because of the diaper. Eh, not too much movement. Um, he does have wrist movement, obviously. I, no forearm movement, doesn't look like. Uh, he does have, you know, he can swivel at the hips, too. But you kind of got to grab this bottom portion of his torso in order to move it. Not a, not a horrible thing, but, you know, kind of annoying. He does have dumbbell jointed knees. Double jointed knees on both sides. Um, no swivel there. He does have ankle movement, uh, not so much pivot, but he can go back and forth with it. And he does move his toes. He's got the tar toe articulation. Overall, I like the figure, just kind of wish the colors were a little more accurate to the movie. But I really like this cape. I'm kind of glad that they just decided to go with cloth cape so it looks better with the Batman. But uh, yeah. This is a fantastic figure, and we're going to put him on a stand, and then we'll move on to Batman. There you are, Master Grayson. Master Grayson. All right, now let's look at Batman. Val Kilmer. My pers my personal best Bruce Wayne. I 
feel like Val Kilmer did a fantastic Bruce Wayne. His Batman was good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock him for doing Batman either. But like, I feel like Keaton's Batman was the best. That's just my personal opinion. But Kilmer's Bruce was probably the best. He did pretty much everything spot on, and he looked the part too. And he looked the part. All right, so we have this ball and metal. This is for the Man Bat. Or oh God, I keep saying Man Bat. Nightmare Bat. It looks like Man Bat. Nightmare Bat. We have a black DC single peg stand for Batman. We have a single hole giant plastic stand with the DC logo for the Nightmare Bat. In fact, while we're here, we might as well just plug that in the hallway. And then we have our Val Kilmer Batman Forever card. Which will probably say the exact same thing that all the other cards do. Yep. Except it's Bruce Wayne. Yeah, I'm not reading that again. That's, I feel like that's just the laziest part you could do on this. But Val Kilmer, looking good. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's get into our Man Bat piece. Oh my gosh, I keep saying Man Bat. I am so sorry I keep saying Man Bat. I wish, I wish this was Man Bat. Man Bat is probably one of my favorite Batman villains. Nightmare Bat. Nightmare Bat. Dang, that is one heck of a peg. You can move its mouth open, too. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's plug this bad boy into the... Nightmare Bat hit body. Alright, there we go. Now we'll look at him in another video. There's not much to him, but we'll take a look. And I'll probably just make it a short or something. But we'll take a quick gander at that boy later. Right now, let's get out Batman's tools because this Batman comes with some extra gear. Alright, so here is his Sonic Batarang, which he uses at the end of the movie. Here is a traditional batarang which looks really nice I like the, the little grooves on it although this one should have some grooves and some little extra to it it's kind of bland but that's okay and then we have our i'm guessing this is a grapple gun because he uses it to catch both chase and robin from falling so it's kind of a grapple, more of a grapple hook than a grapple gun because it just shoots out this thing and then hooks onto something. Anyway, so let's move on to our man, Val Kilmer Batman. Okay, so first thing I would like to mention is I am not a fan of the multiple colors. So, <clears throat> why, in the name of goodness gracious, did they decide to go with a matte black for his cowl, his gloves, and his boots? When, I'll, I'll do a comparison in a second, but like, when the ultimate movies Batman, Val Kilmer Batman, had a full of this color, although it might be a little shinier, of this color all the way around, except the belt. Also, my wife mentioned that this color scheme of the silver belt with the gold does not mesh well with the rest of this. He does have the El Kemmer booty. Um, no, he has the uh, cloth cape, which is cool. I like the cloth capes. Looks very much like Val Kilmer. I really like the detail that they put on, even like because, like, just this part shows with Batman. But it looks so good. It looks so much like Val. Such a such a beautiful figure. So, <clears throat> he's got a crunch here. He does have movement at the hips. Not much. He has a McFarlane diaper. Can move his leg up and down on this one. Double jointed elbows. Swivel at the, at the bicep. 
mm, you know, slight movement at the wrists because of the... Um, he does not have multiple hands. What? What? <laughs> I forgot his hands. But he does have good, he's a little grip hands. See? A little grip hands. I'll take him out in a second, but... I wanted to get to the main course. Because he has, like, all the gear, and then he has little hands and bat thing. He's just got, like, so much to him. Little, little things here that are different colors than the cowl. And you can move his head all the way around. Now, the reason I'm playing with this one a little more than I play with the other ones is because this one I am going to sell. I am going to sell this Val Kilmer for the sole reason that this one does not look as good as this one. I mean, look at the contrast. Just the straight difference. This looks so mix-matched, it's not even funny. This one looks beautiful, gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's got that metal, black metalish blue all over his, you know, suit. Gloves, the cowl, the boots, everything. It's beautiful. Oh, and Robin fell. Sorry, Chris. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the comparison of these two. It's just, like, the colors are totally mismatched on this one. Like, you know, matte black, matte black, silver, gold. Just a whole bunch of different little things going on with this one. This is a, this is that metallic bluish black all the way around. Got a, got a dark silver or dark gray belt with the black logo or the gold logo. Looks fantastic. It's just beautiful. So let's put him there. So that is the reason I'm selling this one. I'm going to be selling this on my Macari shop. You can look for it. I'll, you know, it'll be pretty cheap because, you know, <laughs> there's already one available. No, actually, not really. You, he's really expensive, but still, <clears throat> looks good. He's also got the movement at the feet. Got the movement at the ankles. Not much movement at the ankles though. Anyway. So, that is it for Kilmer, Batman. Let's have all our Batman and Robins together here. Robin just does not want to stand today. Hmm. I know you're a rebel, Robin, but stand, please. Yeah, that's as close as it's going to get. Anyway, if you want to see the man, the, not the man bat, the nightmare bat, in the next video, like, subscribe, and check out. You know, you can comment. I like comments all the time. If you want to, if you want me to do a video about these, which, it, there's not much to it, but if you want to see these in the complete set, I can look at those. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace out.